we're running an up and down season for the club, for the team. Um, I suppose it epitomised Accrington last week. Um, how do you explain that? It's a weird one, to be fair, isn't it? As, um, when off, obviously, at the start of the season, we went off on a, a sticky patch, really. The first four or five games, probably you could say we didn't play well yourselves or the fans or whoever. But I think it was due to confidence levels and, and new players coming in and still getting used to the way we play and perform, maybe. But you could say about Aquit and Stanley as well, they they played well. We didn't match them, obviously. We didn't, we didn't match them in midfield. We didn't match them at the back. We didn't... We didn't match them up top either, so they played well. They they deserved to win, obviously, but yeah, we took the lead, obviously. But no, we weren't good enough on the day, and that just shows from the start of the season. But you could say after before that game, what is it, 10, 12 unbeaten or whatever it is. But no, we 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 come back from the start of the season, done really well, obviously, and now we just got to focus on the next game. That one, put that one to bed now, and focus on the next and the next after that, and hopefully we get a win. Obviously, after a game like that, the manager will have his say. The players actually have their say as well with each other. Yeah, of course we do. We, we, if, if, we, if we play bad or if we play good or if we draw or whatever, we still, have, we still have to talk about it. We still have to figure out the results and drown out the results as well at the same time. But no, there was a couple of things said and it had to be said and it wasn't good enough. So now, you see, we're working hard on the training pits all this week and we've got a massive game coming up uh, Saturday and hopefully we can prepare properly and repay the fans, them travelling fans that came and seen a bad result and seen us play bad. So hopefully we can give something back to them as well. Does it ruin your weekend when things like that happen? To be fair, it does, yeah. Because you, 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 like last week, we, we worked all hard last week and we, it's what, five and a half hours away and you want to you wanna obviously win the game and have a be happy on the way home then. But it didn't happen and everyone was on the bus and not very happy, not very speaking for about an hour, two hours. and then it's all forgotten about really the next couple of days because you're focusing on the next game obviously and, and the gaffer touched on that as well. It's, it's not about that game now, it's about the next game. We've got two big, three big games coming up now and there's loads of games coming over Christmas as well. So we just need to keep going now and, and pit that one behind us. Was there a disappointment perhaps from last season where you came so close and then went out at the end um, that came into this season? To be fair, for me, no, not really. I think that's football, that's life. You. You, you get to the big stages at times at like Wembley, we've done well. We won that, obviously, that was a good day out and, and stuff. But we get to the playoff semi-final, we should have we should have beaten, we battered them, obviously, at home. And we didn't get the result we wanted. But no, I, I don't think, as a player, the fans might say it, but as a player, no, it didn't, it didn't touch on me, to be fair. It's a, it's a new season, you put that to bed, like I said, and you focus on the new season to try and get promotion or, or whatever you want to cup finals. But no, it didn't play a part, really. Talk about team, let's talk about you. Last season, you were pretty much unknown and you came in and took off like a train. This year, you've sort of taken off in the middle. Yeah, uh, I think it was due to, like last year, I come in, I wanted to show what I was about. The fans didn't know me, no one knew me, so I wanted to stamp my authority, as you say, and I wanted to give something back to the gaffer for bringing me in, giving me a chance, obviously. And I did that last season, but this season, I think it was due to confidence at the start. We wasn't really playing well. My confidence was down as a player. And I tell you that straight up, it was due to confidence to me. It wasn't because I was tired or whatever. I'd done a, I'd done a pre-season as well. I was, I was obviously fit the whole way through. It wasn't to do with fitness or tiredness. It was just confidence levels really. And, and now you're seeing that my confidence is out there now and, and the boys' confidence as well. And we've, what, we were 10 unbeaten after, before at Compton Stanley. And now we've got to do the big run again. When you're going through that spell, sometimes the crowd can't be that sympathetic, can they? D does that rub off on you? Sometimes, as a player, yeah, you like, when, especially when you're playing at home, what, 18, 19, 20,000 fans, you, when you want to play your best, we want to play our best, and when we do, the fans are always on your back, like cheering the whole way to the 95th minute, from the start to the 95th, but uh, when we wasn't playing well at home, sometimes they would get on our backs, but uh, the last, Four or five weeks they've been brilliant at home because we've been unbeaten we've been getting good results and it's, it gives us a boost as as as, as players because we give we go out there and think wow they, they they're really coming here to support us today and we want to give them back something as well we want to give them a good game and we want to get a result from going back to you say when you came here that you were pretty much unknown did you use that to your advantage because players would have known little about you as well yeah like i come from a, a small city Derry, obviously and i played there for five years and they love me as a player, obviously, because I'm one of their own. And 
when I come here, it was a new chapter of my career, obviously, and I wanted to better myself. And in my first interview with yourself, I said I'm here to obviously apply goals and, and assists and stuff. And you've seen that last year at the start when I was doing that. And it, it was due to confidence and seeing the big crowd for the first time in, in, my, in my career, really. 20,000, I was like, wow, do you know what I mean? I'm coming to this new, new town, a new city, whatever, and I'm doing it. And, and this year, I'm glad I'm back to that now. So, yeah. Was it a case of opposing players then got wise to you and said, hold on, we, we've got to stop this chat? Yeah, to be fair, they obviously didn't know me. I was, I was, I was uh, raw to them. They didn't know what I was capable of doing. And that was giving me an edge in the game, really, the first probably six months. And then now you can see they're doubling up on me, but you just got to be know your next pass before the ball even gets to you. And, and, and now you just got to do movements and stuff like that to get away from players. And, and yeah, that's it now. Do you see now getting back into the Ireland team as your next challenge? Of course it is, yeah. Who you asked any players to play international football, it's the, it's the dream really, to play with the best players that's in the best leagues. Like the Premier League, there's, there's loads of players in my team that's in the Premier League and it's, an, it's a dream really to play with them. And I was a bit disheartened that I didn't get in the last time. I had a, a little niggle, hamstring obviously, but now I'm back, I'm back to my f uh, fully fitness now and I'm playing well, I'm scoring. And, and we're getting good results, so hopefully Mick can see that and come March I'll be in the playoffs with him. Ironically, they left you out when you were in your best club form. Yeah, you could say that, but um, in other ways, we've, there's a big depth to the squad as well, really, and there's, there's other players to think about as well. So, yeah, he, he's the manager, he picks his, his side, the 25, 26-man squad that he thinks that could do a job, and unfortunately that wasn't me in that time, but no, hopefully... Come March, like I said, uh, I'll be there around the team. Do you keep in touch with them? Do they speak to you? Yeah, of course, yeah. Like, I'm playing against like Judgey this week, Alan Judge, and it'll be a tough, tough battle between him and myself. But no, we, we still keep in touch with all the lads, really, and, and, and especially with the, the staff as well. They always text away and, and ring you when you're playing well. Even if you're not playing well, they still be like, right, this is what you need to do, and, and etc. So yeah, it's good that we're, we're, we're close. You've got very supportive parents. Does that help you? Yeah, of course. Like they, they have best interest in me, obviously, and we're like there's eleven of us, obviously, and we're we're a big, massive circle, you could say, really. And we've got so much love, and they they advise me in a way. My parents, like, because I'm one of I'm I'm one of eleven or the youngest, you know what I mean? So they advise me in a way, and they they tell me what if I don't play well, they'll tell me straight up. If they do play, if I do play well, they'll tell me straight up as well. So yeah, it's a good thing, really. Yeah, big family. You have a great big entourage following you around in the players' lounge after most games. Yeah, eleven of them. Yeah, mostly they're they're there. But uh, Christmas now time. There's twenty one of us over. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good good few weeks. Does that put any extra pressure on you? The fact that you, you want to do so well for all of them? No, not really. I don't get really pressure now. I, I did at the obviously start coming, obviously to see twenty thousand fans, obviously or whatever it was. But no, now I'm just used to it now and. They want to see me do well. Obviously, I want to see. I want to do well for them. Obviously, coming over, coming to the games and stuff. But no, it's, it's not really. You could say pressure, but it's just you just want to put on a good show for them and the fans and, and your manager and the teammates as well at the same time. And it's all out there now, so I, I can go there. You've lifted your mum's Twitter ban. <laughs> yeah, I've lifted it now. Yeah, we. She she knew there was nothing in it really. The lads knew there was nothing in it, and uh, it was just all a bit of a bit of laugh, a bit of banter, you could say. But yeah, she's she's back on there now. Now, as you've mentioned already, two difficult games up now, uh, Ipswich and Wickham, so the top two teams. Is there any reason why you shouldn't beat both of them? No, there's no reason. It's, a, it's just, like I say, it's 11 men against 11 men, isn't it, on the day? So if we can win our individual battles, then we'll win the game and don't do no silly mistakes. But yeah, it's like you said, it's two big, massive games and we've been working hard on the training pitch all this week and hopefully we're at home as well. It gives us a little bit of advantage and with whatever the amount is there, 18, 19,000 cheering us on, we can put on a good display for them and get the three points. Because it's obviously now, after last Saturday, about reaction. It is. It's all about reaction now. And that's, in a way, me, myself, I want to put on a good display for them, for them travelling fans that came down five, six hours down the road to see a poor game, really, in my eyes. So, yeah, we're all looking to pay back the team, the gaffer, the staff and the, the fans at times. How have you become a better player, or have you, since you left Ireland? I think um, it's just the step up, really. Is I'm getting older, I'm t coming 24 now, next year, March, and 
you just show your true colours really and you're maturing obviously as a player and you're, you're getting more confidence and you're playing with better players. No disrespect to the League of Ireland, that was a great league obviously I was in when I was younger and I've done that and I'm here now and I'm, I'm always looking to better myself obviously if that's, that's with whoever I am with. And now I think you're almost halfway or you are halfway to your tally of last season. So is the personal challenge to beat that? Yeah, of course. I said what I wanted to get 12 to 15 last year, and I I done that. I think I think I got what 12. I think 30. it might have been 16. Actually. I'm not, not really sure. I can't remember now. But I'm on what eight or nine now at the minute, and I've set it higher this year. And hopefully, I could do that going into the the half term. Ronan, we look forward to it. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.